Hi, my name is AJ Schifano. I'm a product manager with the JD Edwards development team. Thanks for joining me today as we talk about how to orchestrate your way to digital business. Now we've heard a lot about this thing called digital business and digital transformation to get you there, but what exactly are the characteristics of a digital business and what's the quickest way to get on that digital transformation path? On this video, we'll take a look at some examples of how you can start your digital transformation today using your JD Edwards Enterprise One system and specifically the JD Edwards Enterprise One Orchestrator. Whether we realize it or not, we're surrounded by examples of businesses that have digitally transformed themselves. New business models that are founded on digital platforms. These aren't models that have gotten just a little bit better. They're not reformed, they're completely transformed. And in many cases, they're brand new business models. For example, ride sharing for transportation has transformed how we get from point A to point B. A combination of technologies, including mobile, geo-positioning, online payment, and even social media have given us a more efficient, informative, and expedient way to get a ride. And there are similar patterns in how we get our entertainment, lodging, groceries, and restaurant reservations. Now, what do all these new business models have in common? Well, they're all very easy to use, accurate, and they happen, if not in real time, then at least very quickly. And they're resetting our expectations about how these services should be delivered. So if all these business models are possible with today's technology, why can't our ERP transactions take on the same characteristics? Shouldn't we have the same expectations of our ERP system? Why can't our accounting, and manufacturing, and inventory processes be just as easy, accurate, and timely? Well, they can, in large part because of the capabilities provided by the J.D. Edwards Enterprise One Orchestrator. Let's take a look at some examples. To spark our imaginations, let's consider something tangible, something physical, like managing equipment in the J.D. Edwards Capital Asset Management System. There are lots of attributes that we might want to track for a physical asset, like a forklift, such as the equipment number and serial number, product family and model, and most importantly, maybe status. So let's take a look at how we manage assets in the J.D. Edwards software. Well, the Capital Asset Management System gives us a set of very nice applications to manage equipment. This is Equipment Master, and here's a record for a forklift. We're going to call it an IoT forklift because we'll imagine that it can send some data over the network. As you can see, we have lots of fields available to track important attributes like the equipment number, serial number, status, even latitude and longitude. Now look at all those digits. You can imagine the tedium and errors there would be if a human had to add all this data manually. Well, we don't. Not if we're pursuing digital business, not if we're shooting for easy, accurate, and timely. The first thing we need to do is to get all our equipment data captured in Equipment Master. This data might come from scanning barcodes on the equipment, or it might come from downloads from the manufacturer's sites. In our case, we'll assume that the necessary data has been collected in a spreadsheet. Here we can see some data for five forklifts that we need to get loaded into Equipment Master. This data is saved in a common flat file format called comma-separated values, and it's stored on a secure file system. Now, I promise you that you're not gonna watch me type all this data into Equipment Master. And you don't have to type it in either. An orchestration is gonna do it for us. For the purposes of this demo, I created a custom button that will kick off the orchestration to load the new equipment for us. By the way, this custom button isn't an application customization in the traditional sense. I used a form extension to set it up, all without JD Edwards development skills. You could set up a button like this, or you might even put this orchestration on a schedule to run automatically every morning. If there's new equipment data to upload, it would happen automatically, just like this. Easy, accurate, and timely. Now that we have our forklifts being tracked in JD Edwards, we can take advantage of another modern technology, the Internet of Things. As I said earlier, let's imagine that these forklifts can send data over the network. One important piece of information they might send is their status. Are they actively working? Are they idle and available? Or are they down? 
we can see that the Equipment Master application has a field to track equipment status. But this is digital business. We don't want to update that manually. Again, for the purposes of this demo, I've set up custom buttons to trigger an orchestration that will update the status for us. Now, in real life, the forklift itself would send a message to Orchestrator to do it automatically. Now we can see that this equipment has declared itself as down and that the status is accurately reflected in Equipment Master. But what else happened? Well, let's check our notification list where we see that we just received a notification of a status change for this piece of equipment. And that notification was automatically sent as part of the orchestration. When we open the notification message, not only do we see information that is accurate and timely, but we're also given several links where we can take immediate action. We can link back to Equipment Master to review the data. We can link to other applications and external websites. And we can even click this link, which invokes another orchestration to automatically reset the status of this equipment back to available. When you build these notifications in Orchestrator Studio, you decide what the text says, what information to include, and what action links to provide. Easy, accurate, and timely. So now that we're getting a sense of how to manage equipment in the world of digital business, what else can we do? Well, remember those ugly latitude and longitude points we saw earlier, out to six decimal places of precision? Well, another thing Internet of Things devices are good at is automatically providing their location data. And sure enough, J.D. Edwards Equipment Master has a place for that data. I'll choose this grid format that reveals the fields for latitude and longitude. Again, for the purposes of this demo, I've created a custom button that will invoke an orchestration to get the latitude and longitude for each piece of equipment. But in real life, we would have each piece of equipment invoke the orchestration at regular intervals. For example, some customers are doing this every five minutes for hundreds of pieces of equipment, completely automated with orchestrations. Easy, accurate, and timely. So how might that help your business? What could you do if you had exact, up-to-the-minute location data for your equipment? Well, you could plot it all on a map. You could send it to a mobile device so a field technician could locate it quickly. And here's another possibility. In this last demonstration, I'll show how an orchestration can interface with an external system. Suppose we want to track the weather forecast wherever the equipment is located. Maybe this equipment needs to be covered or protected from rain. Is there a digital approach to this problem? Yes, of course. It just so happens that a weather service has an API to provide a forecast for any given latitude and longitude. So in this example, I've created an orchestration to pass that latitude and longitude for each piece of equipment and receive a real-time location-based weather forecast. Once again, for this demo, I've created a custom button to invoke the orchestration to get the weather forecast. The orchestration repeats for each of the rows I select, so I'll select them all. And now we can see the brief forecast for each location. The orchestration also searches the text of the forecast for the words rain or thunderstorms. And if it finds those words, it sets the rain field to true. In real life, this is probably a good candidate for scheduling the orchestration to run automatically once or twice per day. And finally, what should we do if rain is forecast in the location of the equipment? Well, in JD Edwards, we would issue a condition-based maintenance alert and a corresponding work order to go protect the equipment. So yes, as you might expect by now, if the rain field is set to true, then the orchestration automatically issues a condition-based maintenance alert for each piece of equipment, instructing the local field technicians to cover the equipment. Easy, accurate, and timely. Well, we've covered a lot, so let's review what we've seen. We took a look at the capital asset management process, specifically managing a fleet of forklifts, and saw how to transform that into a more digital process using automated data entry, real-time input from IoT devices, notifications with action links, a real-time integration to a third-party weather forecast, 
and individual J.D. Edwards applications that are integrated into an automated process from Equipment Master to condition-based alerts. But I hope you can imagine how these same principles, these same digital tools powered by Orchestrator, can apply equally to your other critical business processes, however you use J.D. Edwards to compete and thrive in the digital economy. Easy, accurate, and timely. Digital business with J.D. Edwards, powered by the Orchestrator. To learn more about Orchestrator, visit LearnJDE.com. And thanks for watching.